Um, the metaverse and 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 web 3.0 they're they're kind of similar everybody and they go together right they're not exactly the same but you know i can't say they're the same because the metaverse hasn't even been built yet it's just coming everybody um in the beginning there were just ugly websites right that really didn't do anything um you know the internal and initial overview of the internet was between um the years 91 and and 2004 that's kind of this this fir, er, first early beginning. I don't know if you remember, but I, I do. When I was going through and trying to find images, I do remember this stuff, and it's crazy. Mm -hmm. and, and it was mostly, everybody, it was mostly a bunch of static pages. And static pages mean they didn't do anything, right? You could link. You see the links that are these these blue uh, things? You, you could go and, and hit there, but it's not going anywhere. It's going into other pages of that same website, if that makes sense. Just saying mm -hmm. that that's, that's what interlinking is. Um, Sub called it only uh, read only. Uh, that wasn't any uh, logging in. There was no logging in uh, or interacting with these posts or viewing analytics. Most of the early internet wasn't even profitable by ads. No one read ads. It's just a website that was giving you information. It was mostly just like one big Wikipedia page, right? That's really all it was. You can see the one that says uh, World Wide Web. That looks like Wikipedia, right? Of course, there have been huge upgrades and advancements with JavaScript and flat, all kinds of stuff. So it was a good thing that the early internet was uh, users weren't driven to purchase on the uh, early internet because uh, it was all about information. That's really all it was about. So that's that's kind of the idea of what Web 1.0, 1, 1 the beginning, right? The very beginning looked like. Now, next up is, is Web 2.0, right? When 2004 hit, uh, we came into the Web 2.0 age. And we have been in that area, that realm, up until now. During this time, the web evolved a lot. But one of the biggest changes was the interactivity of the Internet. This meant that not only did we get information from pages, but the web pages started getting information of us, all right, of Facebook, YouTube. Uh, when you perform the Google search, these centralized companies started collecting data on us. So that mm -hmm. we could serve us better content. That's what they said, right? And hey, I probably I, I kind of believe that. Uh, but again, when you start getting this stuff, right, um, it's a big deal. Um, you know, so so that they could serve us better content. That's what they said. But uh turned out it would make us stay on their pages. That was another thing, because they could serve us up what we would like more, right? That was kind of the idea behind it. This meant more money uh for them, but eventually they realized. They could package it all up, all the data that they had collected, and sell um, our, our information to advertisers, right? This is the age of targeted advertising and the lack of privacy for its users. Now, to be fair, um, it, we were willing participants, right? They didn't just go and jack us. Everybody went in there uh, willing into Facebook, in the, into YouTube. They all did that. And I, I wanted to show this picture um, because... A lot of people would think that this is this is us, this fish. No, nope, we were the worm on this hook because <laughs> these were the big companies. And this big old whole thing that's collecting the data, that's that's the big websites or the big data, uh, big tech, right? Just saying that, just that that's funny because you start looking at it. This was just so the companies would come along and want um, to eat and, and get, our, get our data. We were just the worm on the hook, man. <laughs> yeah, so. it's, it, it, and it's normal now, you know, but yep. when it first started, it, it was kind of spooky because you'd be looking at something on Google or the, or Safari on, or whatever, you know, browser you're using. And then you'd go to a social media outlet like Facebook or, or Instagram, and you'll you'll see those exact ads of what you were looking at the day before. So it's kind of spooky, like he was being spied on constantly, you know, <laughs> but it's just that that data pull, that, that information pull. Yeah. No, absolutely. And, and that's what, just exactly what you're saying. That's what I was going into is many are starting to be aware just how powerful that makes these companies, Dusty. Um, mm -hmm. I know. And you were just saying it. I know you already experienced this. Uh, but an example, you're, you're talking about by just visiting and write those cookies. They're called cookies. Right. Right. But mm -hmm. it's get, it's getting a little it's getting wild now, man, because I, I've been out there in the kitchen talking with friends and I'm just talking. Right. 
so stuff is, you know, people know, I mean, that isn't literally a phone, right? So it, you could be talking to somebody in your in, in, in uh, the kitchen and then you come into your, your office and lo and behold, there you go. Um, it's sitting on your, your desktop, that same thing you were mm -hmm. just talking about. Mm -hmm. So it does kind of freak you out, you know, right? Because <laughs> it's happening, right? But that's Web 2.0, right? But I want to tell you, that's what this is all about.